My parents, my mother, arrived here in Minnesota in 1928 along with her parents, mis abuelos Francisco y Crescencia Rangel. They brought with them traditions, many traditions, song, dance, poem, plays, music, food, and that was all given to me, all seen by me as from the day that I was born, it was instilled in me all of the traditions that they brought here. Yo, un Latino en Minnesota, is presented by You Care and by the Minnesota Twins, proudly celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. My name is Rebecca Moran Cusick, and I am the founder, the director, and instructor of Los Alegres Bailadores, a Mexican dance group that has been here for over 40 years. Folkloric dance is what just spoke to me. It was just in my blood and I, I couldn't let it go. My aunt Maria Moran um, had a group here in Minnesota, Ballet, uh, Ballet Folklorico Guadalupana, and I danced in her group. And before I even danced in her group, I danced with my mother and father who taught me how to dance and I created my little group down in our basement when I was just a young girl. And, and that's, I kept it going. And after dancing with my aunt, uh, I, I loved it even more. And then I went to study in Mexico City and it just, it, it couldn't leave. I had to share it with all that who had interest in learning Mexican dance. I feel very, very proud of what I do because I see little ones, young ones, second and third generations that have been here, that are here, and want to know more about their culture. They want to learn. They've never even been to Mexico. They, the, because of the years that have gone by, like I said, things uh, get lost. and. And so I feel like I can connect them to their heritage. And being here in Minnesota, it, no, it isn't that easy. In the beginning, especially, it was very difficult. Uh, the doors were not quite open as they are now, and they still hopefully will even open wider. But to have us be able to share our culture and share what we love to do and, and show what we have to offer and what Mexico is about. I feel that I have been able to represent our community quite with a lot of pride because I grew up in West St. Paul, very close to St. Paul's West Side. And St. Paul's West Side has a beautiful community with many Mexican Americans that live there and live around there that have, um, have really opened the door for me to be accepted in all aspects of where to dance and a place to have a home and, and I just uh, so am so grateful that the people there in, in, in St. Paul's West Side have always been so open and loving to Los Alegres Bailadores.
born here in the U.S. and not being born in Mexico. For instance, I go to Mexico and I'm Americana and I live here in Minnesota and I am Mexicana. So I feel that difference and I know that the children here in Minnesota that, um, that have that same identity struggle. Who am I? And that's where I feel like, and, and I speak, there's so many different uh, components to our cultures, not just dance, but dance is what I know. Dance is what I can share. Being a Latina and being female, I know that it has not always been easy. And as the years has gone by and as I've done this for so long, I haven't found and I haven't felt that, that feeling I had in the beginning where I was, where people were so hesitant and not sure. And now, not only me, but there are so many women in, in my own community that have flourished and are, are really showing who they are and what they can do. And it is a wonderful, wonderful feeling to have that coming. And I know it's got a long ways to go, but I'm glad that I am part of and one of those women. And I hope that many of those younger children that are seeing this role of the Latina women being and doing and being out in the public and doing what they love to do, that they too can do themselves someday. The Latinas are here and we are and are hungry to do more, to be more, and with all of your support, with all of Minnesota opening their doors, we will do this. My name is Rebecca Moran Cusick, and I am Mexican-American Latina in Minnesota. Visit and share video profiles with the perspective of successful Latinos, offering a better understanding of the contributions made by the Latino community in Minnesota. Yo Un Latino en Minnesota is presented by You Care and by the Minnesota Twins, proudly celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month.